going to explain the whole discord user settings first things first we're going to start with my account so here as you can see you can change your display name actually this is a new update so you can just change it by coming here and edit as you can see it is edited here and yeah let's go back to my account here you can modify your real or your username so the username that everyone can use to add you um actually this one is going to be like twitter like at and something so it's going to change and just change it here and confirm with your current password then here you're going to change the email you can just click on edit and change it and then you're going to receive a confirmation email to uh, verify it here here you can add the phone number as you can see i didn't add the phone number for this account but if you want to you're just gonna click here and choose your country code and type here the number as you can see oops all right type here and click on send password and authentication you can change your password by clicking on this button you're gonna write your current password and your new password and confirm the new password and just click on done and then you can enable the two-factor authentication like when you activate this you will be required to enter both your passwords and then you enter an authentication code from the mobile app of the authentication app you used so if you want to enable it you're going to type the password here after that, you're just going to scan this using the app like Authy or Google Authenticator. Actually, I recommend you to use Authy because Google Authenticator is shit. And then you just scan this code and you're going to receive it and then type here the six digit number and you're done. Second, we come to profiles. As you can see, you can change the display name. I already explained this one. And then you can change the avatar, the picture. You can upload an image. You can just choose a GF if you have, um, oh, anyway. As you can see here, an avatar decoration. You can just change it. Actually, this, this update is going to end June 15th because it's just for the eighth birthday of Discord. So you can change it by coming here and choosing the right one you want. Then here you can choose the profile theme. As you can see, like the, the color of these, the primary, this one, and the accent, it is the, the one at the border, yeah. And here the about me, you can type here um, some things about you and edit uh, emojis if you want to add emojis and stuff like that. Then we go to server profiles. As you can see, you can choose the server and change your nickname there and your avatar there. Actually, the avatar and profile banner for each server requires you to have Nitro also. Uh, the banner, like if you want to change the banner here, you are required to have a Nitro. We come to privacy and safety. Here, as you can see, direct messages, filters. In case you want to filter images from direct message from no friends, you're going to choose this one. If you don't want to filter any direct messages, you choose this one. If you want to filter them all, like if someone comes, even if he's your friend or not, he sent some explicit image. Discord is going to check it and if it has some content like, you know, it's going to block it. Next we have here DM spam filters. So Discord is going to automatically filter the spam from people and just filter them in a separate spam inbox. Then here server privacy defaults. As you can see, I load direct messages from server members. You can just choose it to be yes or no like people from other servers can't send you messages or allow them to send messages and then allow access to add restricted servers on ios actually ios has this system so it doesn't allow you to see the edge restricted servers so if you want to see it on ios devices iphone and ipad and stuff like that just go to make it like this and then enable message request from server members you may not know so people you don't know from other servers like you have no connection with you're just gonna let them send you message requests if you don't want to you're just gonna disable this one actually i want to so let me allow it so these settings apply to our bot and apps so to allow people 18 plus to access comments mark it as age restricted in dms so if you want to you're just gonna select if you don't want to the same thing and here uh, about the data if you want to help discord to improve themselves and to improve the app 
you can just choose it to be yes or no actually i recommend leaving it like this because discord is gonna use it your data just to improve discord as they say i'm not sure but next we go to authorized apps as you can see in this tab actually you can see the apps that you authorize to access to your account and here you can see the permissions so i remember there was a problem of having an account that joins automatically servers like this one as you can see this app can join servers for me as you can see it has the permission join servers for you so if you have apps like this you can just deauthorize them so you're not gonna let them let your account join servers automatically you can just check for other apps in case you find some app that is suspicious you're just gonna deauthorize that one next we come to devices here you can check the devices that are using your account as you can see I have many devices here if you find any device that is suspicious that you didn't use you can just click here and type your password so you're gonna log out in that device I recommend you to change your password in case you find here a device that I didn't use then next we go to connections here if you want to add accounts to your profile like Twitter eBay and stuff like that like social media and friend requests if you want to allow people to send your friend request if it's for everyone just allow this if only friends of friends and server members allow this too if you don't want anyone to send your friend request like close the friend request system it's just gonna close them all so in my case i will just allow everyone next we'll go to billing settings we'll come to nitro uh, here if you want to subscribe to nitro discord nitro just gonna come to this tab and subscribe and you can also check the nitro features here as you can see and then server boost if you are boosting discord server you can just transfer your boost from here and here in subscriptions you can check your current nitro subscription in case you are and then here you can see the card that you have the visa card or something like that in case you climbed some gifts you're gonna find them here or in case you purchased some gifts you're also gonna find them here and the billing is just billing information like the card and the paypal if you have paypal and the transaction history the things that you have bought in the past next we come to app settings so appearance as you can see if you have nitro you can change the appearance of the app by choosing one of these i prefer the dark theme so you can just click on this one so actually there is an easter egg in this one you can just click on preview themes and then click on each one like this let me just go fast you're gonna get a new theme i guess i'm not sure all right let me complete them all all right so i'm done yeah as you can see i got this new one as you can see it is so beautiful but i prefer the dark theme go back to settings and if you slide down you're gonna find the message display if you want to see it this way like, like this the profile picture and stuff you can choose compact only messages as you can see i prefer this one of course because the oh because the other one is ugly and then chat font scaling if you choose like this you can just see how discord is changing you can see here the zoom level so i'm just gonna leave it on 100 and then space between message groups like the space between um, the messages let me just go to the server and you can see chat as you can see the space between two messages is a little bit too long you can also just come here appearance go down again and just make it 16 and also the font of the chat you can just leave it on 16 as you can see the green ones are the default ones okay okay then we come to accessibility actually here you're going to find the saturation like the colors and stuff like that i guess yeah as you can see as you can see if you put it on zero it became like the old tvs i don't know how it's called but anyway if you want to see the roll colors you're just going to choose this one show roll colors and names or show colors next to name like this the color and then the name of your account and then don't show any raw colors so everything is going to be the same i prefer this one of course like the default settings are always the best for discord because i don't know why and then profile colors sign profile themes if you want to make discord sync with discord theme so if you have your theme like this let's go back to themes to appearance if you have this one so look at my profile now let's go to profile as you can see it changes right it changes so if i put it on dark it's going to become as it was as you can see 
let me go to profiles again as you can see it changed and then reduced motion these are the settings of animations hover effects and moving effects across discord like for example this motion when you close the discord like it has some blur and then the settings are just fading as you can see if you want to play automatically you have when discord is focused you can choose it if you don't want to just disable it and then play animated emojis same thing if there is an animated sticker in the chat, if you want to animate it or animate it only in that direction, like put the mouse on it or never animate, even if it's animated, it's going to be just static. If you want to allow it, just click here. Let's, for example, preview it. This is what text to speech sounds like at the current speed. So if you put the speed faster, this is what text to speech sounds like at the current speed. All right, just put it like this. If you want to use text to speech messages, you're going to just use this comment. Let me test it in my server slash TTS hi and exists said hi next to go to voice and video here if you want to modify your input device like the microphone you can choose microphones from here and then the output device it's like the sound where it goes out then the volume from here can change it if you want to do a mic test like hi. this hi. hi i hear myself good and then the soundboard it's just um some some bullshit you know the soundboard of discord it's a new update like you put voices inside a room so the volume of it you can just control it from here and then here input mod like if you want to discord determine your voice activity like if you talk it's going to be green if you don't talk it's not going to be green and you can use the push to talk setting and just choose a button from here once you click it your account is going to start receiving sounds from you and if you just release the key it's going to stop receiving sound from my account and then here some settings about the the voice and stuff like that i'm not sure i i don't know them all yeah if you want to display images videos and lol cat like if someone posts a link that refers to an image on the chat it's going to display it if you want to display it you can choose it or no like this and when uploaded directly to discord like if the image is directly uploaded to discord it's going to open it or no like if you want to see the images and then here the image descriptions same shit if you want to just enable it just enable it like this if you don't want to just disable it and then here embeds and links previews if you want to see them just enable this and if you don't want to just disable it emojis same thing i think this one are simple you're just gonna modify the settings for the text and images related and then the notifications enable desktop notifications in case you don't want to receive any notifications that the ones that appear here in this zone if you don't want to see them just disable this one because they are really really annoying and then enable and read message back like it's going to show a red badge on the app icon and then here push notification inactivity like in case you're not active at discord for 10 minutes it's not going to push any notifications for you and then the text to speech notifications as you can see turn this on to have a high tech robot speak to your notifications next to you like in case you are too lazy to read any messages this automatic text to speech notifications is going to read all the notifications for you and then the sounds in case you want to disable any sounds i think the message notification is so annoying like this one it's so annoying bro and k binds if you want to add some k binds like in case like you can click add k bind and then you select for example uh to mute like if you want to mute your account you can just make control so once you click on control it's going to perform this action which is to total mute and then here your language you can edit the language of the app windows settings if you want to open discord on the startup just select this one if you don't want to just disable it start minimized like if you want to start discord in the background like here as you can see if you want to just leave it like this if you don't want to just like this and then the close button like minimize the tray like if you click on this one it's just going to be here and not close it definitely and then the streamer mod in case you are streaming the settings are going to benefit you like for example if you click on this one it's going to enable some settings and if I come here, my account is just going to show this, as you can see. I'm gonna disable it. Come to advanced. The developer mod. As you can see, developer mod exposes content, multi items helpful for people writing bots using the Discord API. In case you're a developer, just enable this one because you're gonna need it. And then hardware acceleration. This one, if you have a good computer, turn it on. If you have a bad computer, just turn it off actually my computer is decent so i'm gonna leave it like that and then application test mode i'm not sure what this does 
but I think you're going to test the ID to see how it works and then developer activity shelf I showed this one for developers so you're not gonna need it for this time and then activity privacy if you want to display your current activity as a status message you can just enable it if you don't want to disable it and then share your activity status by default when joining live server when you are on a large server discord is going to display your activity status by default on that server everyone there in that server is going to see what you are doing right now and then the witch prisons if you want to allow friends to join your game you can just enable it if you don't want to disable it allow voice channel participants to join your game if you want to allow the people that are in the same voice channel as you to join your game just allow them by enabling this one and then register your games if you have a game to add it and then discord is going to display it you can just add it here like for example add an app here and then game overlay like if you want to use discord in the game itself you're just gonna uh, label this one and then edit some settings here here what's new if you want to see the news about the discord the new updates and then hype squad if you want to get the discord hype squad badge and join them you can just take the test here actually you're gonna find it like this let me leave it you're gonna find it like this with this button you can click on join hype squad you can answer these questions and then you're going to receive the badge and then if you want to log out of discord you're just gonna select this one anyway guys i hope you like this video if you did don't forget to like subscribe and type a good comment actually i am so tired by recording this video because it's too long i hope it's gonna benefit you guys and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one